Hey everyone, today I'm going to be introducing my interpolation API. Uh, technically it's actually just one function. So to classify as API, I don't know, but I'm just going to call it that. Uh, so the function is really easy. Uh, it's just in the global table on the client side of things. So it just resides here in a local script under starter pack, uh, which is then copied to the player's backpack when they spawn. So uh, the function itself takes five arguments. Um, it's actually pretty similar to when you uh, tween uh, items like the frame GUI or G or GUI, however people say it, uh, or whatever GUI item you want. So you have tween position, tween size, and then both of them together. So you have the, the easing direction, easing style, time, and callback. Those are the four that I also have in here, where I have duration, direction, style, and this func, which stands for function. So the duration is just how long it goes for. The direction just describes uh, the type of function it uses. So you have three of in, out, and then in, out. Uh, the in sort of deal would make it uh, run the more smooth part of the transition in the beginning and then kind of shoot off at the end where out kind of shoots from the beginning and slowly fades in to stop and then in out is a combination of both where both endpoints are pretty smooth uh, and then style is just the uh, type of function it uses so I have quite a few that I have implemented in here linear, quadratic, cubic and I'm probably going to butcher these names quartic Quintic, sinusoidal, <laughs> exponential, and circular. Uh, the ones in quotes would be what you actually use for the argument. Uh, just shorten them to make it more, uh, just easier to use. Uh, because I'd much rather type in sine than sinusoidal every time. Uh, so the functions themselves I actually got from a site called Gizma. Uh, the site itself doesn't really seem to be up anymore but this easing part of it is still there and this is the website so as you can see it's just a bunch of these easing functions written in uh, action script yeah action script um, so they're right there uh, so I decided to just kind of take what these say and then kind of uh, change them a bit so it works in Lua I, I'm saying it's translation it's it's pretty easy it's just a uh, little syntax differences uh, and then I threw them into a, a table here so I could use them pretty easily. And then I built my interpolation script with, or uh, function with that. Uh, so to show how easy this is to use, uh, I'm going to do a short little demo using it. So here's my map here, a little island just because it's bored. Uh, and then we have a little cube here. And the objective I want to accomplish here. Uh, just to demonstrate the system is to interpolate this little cube from one position and then back and just keep on doing that over and over and to make it look nice this twinning function allows you to do that smoothly rather than just like bolt one place to another linearly which looks stupid and boring so to demo this, I'm just going to throw in another local script into the starter pack. Um, the first step is to quote unquote load the API. Uh, it's not really loading it, you're just waiting for it. So while not, g.interpolate do wait end. Okay. So I'm actually going to call the function tween since you're actually tweening it. Tween means uh, it's kind of a play on word of the word in between. So it's just easier to use. Uh, next I'm going to reference my part. Conveniently my part is just named part. <laughs> so simple enough right there in the workspace. Oops. Uh, now I need to define the two positions I want to interpolate between. So I'm going to have my start position, which just equals where it is right now. 
in my in position, which I'm just going to offset from the start position. Let's say 10 studs over, 10 studs up and five studs back. All right, so now we have those defined, we can write the actual tween function here, or call it. So uh, let's say it does this for one second, so it takes one second to accomplish the goal with the in out direction. And let's try the exponential function and then we write our callback here. So this ratio is what the uh, tween function is going to be spitting out and it, it calls this function every single step of the way through the interpolation cycle. And we use ratio, which is number between 0 and 1, to uh, manipulate whatever we're trying to tween or whatever. So in this case we're tweening two vector 3 positions uh, conveniently, vector threes have a built-in lerp method, which is just short for uh, linear interpolation. So we're going to kind of uh, manipulate that here. So we want to change our parts position. So part dot position equals, and then we want to have it be at the start position interpolate it to the end position based on our ratio. So what this will do is in one second it will smoothly transition the part from where it is now to the end position. And as I said earlier I also want to make it go back to its original spot. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it and then I'm going to flip around start and end here. So now go from the start position to the end position and then back to the start position. I also want it to keep on going forever, so I'm gonna, just going to wrap that all in a while true loop. And like that, it hopefully will work. So I'm test it, I'm going to start a play solo, and hopefully we see the part move back and forth. No, we don't. Index global vector. Yeah, that should be vector 3. Crazy little typos can mess you up so much. There we go. So we see the part is moving back and forth from position to position. I just added the fire to show the movement a little bit. So that's pretty cool. So let's try a different function. Uh, let's try sine, the sinusoidal or whatever you call it, and try that. So you can see it's moving a little different. That's still pretty smooth. And now we can play around with it. Let's say both of them go in. So you can kind of see how it's kind of flinging from position to position now. Alright, so that's my demo for that. If anyone has any questions or anything, just uh, post comments below. And the uh, link to this uh, API script as well will be in the description below. So you can link to that there. And yeah, that is all.